and welcome to a new sketchbook session. Today I thought we could talk more about my characters since they did actually capture a couple people's hearts. And I'm always down to talk about them more, but first actually uh, I have an announcement. It sounded a bit more serious than I wanted it to. I wanted it to be a bit more of a, a happy announcement. I finally added more stickers to my shop. <sighs> it's been like six months. Oof. I promise I don't forget about my shop. I just don't really ever have the money to make stickers. So if you want me to make more stickers, go buy some stickers. <laughs> but yeah, here are the new designs I made. I'm pretty cute in my opinion. Yeah, but now that that's out of the way, we can talk about other things. So today I wanted to talk about Frankie, which of course is who I'm drawing right now. If the story had a second main character, it would be Frankie. He's also one of my favorites to draw. He's very relaxing for me to draw because I have drawn him so much at this point. By the way, if you have not watched uh, my last sketchbook session, you really should because this is going to be really confusing. So go watch that because I'm not going to re-explain things because I had such a hard time explaining it the first time. Anyways, Frankie is, like I said, probably my second main character. He's around the same age as Smokey. I think they're both 18. Unlike Smokey though, I think Frankie was probably a homeschool kid for the majority of his life because that's how you'll learn a bit about like his family and how his father is a bit of a germaphobe. So he's very strict about there's a plane. Yes, like I was saying, Frankie is basically the newest addition to, that sounds so weird to phrase it like this, but he was, gosh, what the hell am I saying? I'm trying to say he's just as new to the land of the dead as Smokey. I haven't really figured it out yet. It's probably gonna be like a three months difference. Another thing I forgot to mention about the world is time is very funky like over there. So time only really passes when someone dies, which solves the whole plot hole of like, can the characters in the land of the dead, can they interact with the real world? And the answer is no, because time is different. They're kind of like stuck in the past some of them so Frankie died probably three months prior to Smokey's death so it's also kind of like an alarm system for the land down there so they know like if all of a sudden they jump forward in time and it's a completely different season then they would know someone died recently all that just to say that Frankie was the one before Smokey. I will say as a similarity between the two of them because there isn't actually that many similarities their characters kind of are meant to bounce off of one another. They both adapted to this new, I say lifestyle, but it's, they're dead. Uh, but they both adapted pretty well to the realization that they died. They didn't really have uh, second thoughts about, oh, I had so much I wanted to accomplish in life. No, they're like, oh, okay. I guess this is just how things are now. They get more into Frankie's personality. I kind of designed their personalities based off of different periods of my life in a way for a lot of Frankie's character design is mixed up with my childhood like beliefs and just really my childhood self and who I was at that age and Smokey is more me as a middle schooler like fresh teenager kind of vibes which is why he's full of so much sadness. They have the classic golden retriever and black cat. For how they meet, Frankie is the first person that Smokey meets in the land of the dead. So he's the one that has to, you know, break the news to him that he's dead and also explain how the world works. So after that, they're kind of attached. Frankie doesn't really reveal that he died recently, but he has comfort knowing that he find, he found someone that is like in the same headspace as he is. Of course, Frankie has at this point accepted it, but he's quick to realize that Smokey is not very far behind him, if not very on board with the idea of him not being alive anymore. Another thing I would really like to incorporate 
with Frankie's character is that his mom's first language is Spanish. Uh, so I like to believe that he knows Spanish from his mom. Not like m a bunch, but he definitely would know a couple like words and phrases. The only problem with that is when... <laughs> So you know how in high school you're supposed to take a language class because it's required in America? I don't know if it's required other places, but it's required in America to take a language class in high school. And fun fact about me, I didn't take Spanish. I took French. So I don't know any Spanish. I, I know it's not too late to learn, but there's only so much that Duolingo could teach me or any other internet learning site or whatever. The only reason I took that French class was because the rumors were in my school that all the Spanish teachers were really mean and the only nice language teacher was one of the French teachers. And I did luck out and I did get the nice French teacher. But at this point, I kind of wish I put up with a mean Spanish teacher if it meant that at least I knew some Spanish. I also kind of have trauma from Duolingo because when I was in French class, I I had a streak of a full year in Duolingo, so 365 days of that bird torturing me. So yeah, I kind of don't really want to go back to it, and it still sends me emails. Anyways, enough about Spanish and my sad language history. So the last time I talked about how Smokey was designed after a scarecrow, and I think uh, Frankie's is very obvious, because of course he was designed after Frankenstein, as his name is Frankie. Although the thing I didn't mention in my last video is I give all of my characters, I give them all little symbols. It's hard to explain, because uh, I completely stole the idea from Gravity Falls. If, you, if anybody has watched it, Sorry, I'm going to spoil, like, the last episode. Like, a part of the last episode. It's not even the main part, but they have the, the summoning circle or whatever it was. I can't really remember. And each side of the summoning circle had the character's symbol on it. In Gravity Falls, it was Mabel, who was the shooting star, and Dipper, who was the pine tree. And I don't know, I just, for some reason, I really held on to that idea for character design because I thought it was really, I thought it was just a cute idea. So I, I stole it and I put it in my own characters. And if you can see here, this is his design right here. I'll put a better picture of it on screen, but his design is is a stitched dinosaur. It's a bronchiosaurus. Why is it a dinosaur? I don't really know. I don't really think I had much thought when I first came up with the design. I think I just, I like it so much that it's stuck for so long. And well, of course now I've developed reasoning behind it, but luckily I have a way of like rationalizing past me's decision by making things a bit more poetic or s symbolic of their characters. And I can't tell you anything because it would spoil stuff if I explained the symbolic meaning behind that little guy. Again, I kind of rushed through everything that I was supposed to say about him, and now I'm just left here with nothing else. And I'll tell you some fun facts about his character, because I am the type of person that says, I'm gonna make headcanons about my OCs, even though they're not headcanons, it is canon, because they're my characters. He has a pet rock that is named Pete. The pet rock idea is based on childhood me and the fact that I did have a pet rock when I was a kid that I think my sister made I swear it was like a it's one of those school projects where you had to play capitalism or whatever it is I don't know you make a shop and you sell your product kind of thing it was like one of those elementary school projects and my sister made pet rocks I honestly can't even remember what mine was I could have sworn I had like something stupid with duct tape. It's always those duct tape crafts. It's not really important to Frankie's character. He doesn't have a duct tape wallet to like incorporate the rock. I honestly just probably, again, with me stealing things, weirdly another thing from Cartoon Network, but <laughs> it was probably just gonna be Greg and Over the Garden the Wall when he has his rock facts section. One of my favorite parts of Over the Garden the Wall was rock facts. That rock didn't get enough screen time, man. Another thing is he is, he's lactose intolerant, um, which I have no experience in whatsoever, but I don't really think it affects his life that much because again, he is dead, so I guess it doesn't expect his life at all. A weird thing you'll notice about my three main characters, which are Frankie, Smokey, and Dex, who I will do a video on next. Wow, rhyme.
tips. They're all secondary colors. That wasn't on purpose, but it's a fun coincidence and it actually makes me seem like I know things about character design. I really, I don't. Another fun dynamic thing between the two of them, because a lot of, uh, as much as I say that there are three mayor characters, a lot of it does have Dex being left out, sadly. <laughs> I promise they're not actually left out in the story. There's lots of decks. Like I was saying, another fun dynamic thing about them is, of course, since they have to be opposites in every category, so while Smokey is more of the type to go vacationing to the mountains, Frankie would much rather go to the beach or be a summer person and Smokey is more of a fall and winter person. Again, I'm running out of things to yap about. I'm still not done with this drawing, which is great. It's so fun for me. I made his shoes. <laughs> That's another thing. I made his shoes in real life. I don't do a lot of clothing DIY projects because I am horrible at sewing. I've always wanted to make Smokey's hoodie in real life, but I've only ever really gotten around to making Frankie's shoes. And even those are not that great looking. I would love to redo them, but I don't know if I can commit to ruining another pair of Converse. Yeah, so I guess I'll just end this ramble with me showing off his old character sheet. I think for my next OC video, I'll probably try to do two of my OCs in one so that maybe I can actually fill time for once. Uh, but anyways, uh, enjoy a time lapse now. I think I need to be done with this drawing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you're still here. If you have questions about Frankie, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Remember to check out my Etsy shop with my new stickers up. If you bought them, I'd be very happy. Oh. I'd be very happy. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye
it's very detailed. Well, Mom, I brought a couple of tomatoes, so that's gonna be your supper. Oh, yay. <laughs>